Hello, my name is Kamar and I am here again with another IELTS lesson. In this lesson, we are going to see part one for speaking. There is a very important topic in your speaking which often comes to candidates and it is dictionaries. Dictionaries ke baare mein aap se poochha jata hai. So it is important, it is essential for all of you to know what a dictionary is and how many types of dictionaries exist nowadays in the market. So let's see. Bilingual dictionary. Bilingual. Bi means two. Lingual is from language. Do zabane, right? Bilingual dictionary. For example, Urdu to English and English to Urdu dictionary. Bilingual dictionary. So bilingual dictionary has, of course, it has meanings and it has the definitions also in both the languages in again for example in Urdu and in English so it is actually a very useful dictionary so if you are an Urdu speaker and you want to increase your uh, vocabulary so you must get one bilingual dictionary this may have to be very easy to get from Urdu to English and English to Urdu ke words jo hain wo dekh sakte hain aur unhe define bhi kar sakte hain all right uh, monolingual dictionary monolingual is uh, again mono means one so it has only one language for example we have oxford dictionaries that are only in english language right so the monolingual dictionaries hoti hai wo <coughs> ek zaban mein hoti hai it also you know again the purpose is to uh, look for the meanings and their definitions all right then comes thesaurus thesaurus it has three syllables thesaurus is a sort of dictionary is a thesaurus dictionary nahi kehte sirf thesaurus hi kehte hain right and it has synonyms and antonyms synonyms as you know words with the similar meanings antonyms the opposite of those words right so thesaurus are very useful when you want to paraphrase again in order to um, increase uh, your vocabulary this is a beautiful thing aapko isme same meanings mein mil jayenge ek word ke for example you are talking about uh, uh, weather and you would say you are talking about cold weather Right, so cold ke liye aap kitne or words you have use kar sakte For example, you can say crisp, wintry, chilly, chilling. Okay, so is tarah ke jo words hain, wo aapko thesaurus mein milte hain. Or again, unke opposite bhi milte hain. To actually, in one time, you are learning two different words. Right, ek synonym aap uska, the same meaning word hai, wo bhi aapko pata chal raha hai. Aur saath saath aapko uska opposite word jo hai wo bhi pata chal raha for example cold ke synonyms jaise maine aapko bataye to cold's opposite is hot to hot ke liye aapko uh, scorching mil jayega withering mil jayega right so is tarah se ye jo words hain ye aapko uh, thesaurus mein mil jate hain all right electronic or online dictionary uh, why i have put it together because you know uh, it used to be a case when electronic dictionary dictionaries were available available they are still available but they are not in use very much why because of the online dictionaries and online dictionaries always in your pocket in form of your in in uh, in form of your mobile phone in mobile phones you can download a lot of dictionaries right thesaurus monolingual bilingual whatever you want to do iska jo sabse bada fayda hota hai online dictionary ka wo kya hota hai that you can look for the exact pronunciation as well right there is a button like wahan pe kai kaun sa bana hota hai theek hai usse jab aap click karte hain to wo word pronounce bhi kar diya jata hai aapke liye and by 
repeatedly listening to that word, you can actually also improve your pronunciation. And it has, uh, it is multifunctional, right? Uh, because you know, it gives you the pronunciation, it tells you the synonyms, uh, antonyms, it tells you the meaning as well as the definition. And um, again, you know, because it's in your mobile phone usually, so it is portable. You can carry it along with you wherever you go. So this is a very uh, important topic. I want you to go through it and it can also become a part of your one of your writing assessments. So if the word dictionary comes in your IELTS test, make sure that you know all these sorts and you are ready to write and speak on this topic. I hope this lesson was useful. I will see you in my another IELTS lesson. Thank you.